There's the human stories, the, the family members, the loved ones, the friends who are uh, supporting uh, individuals who are struggling with, uh, with real challenges. Uh, we need to be more compassionate and more open as a society, but also more understanding. Justement, il faut arrêter que la maladie mentale, que ce soit ici, dans le placard, caché, parce qu'on ne peut pas en parler, c'est dangereux. Et en même temps, c'est que ça permettrait d'ouvrir la porte à, bon, oui, la reconnaissance de qu ce que c'est la maladie mentale, mais en même temps la prévention et en même temps le soutien pour ceux qui l'ont. One of the things that we really need to understand is the commitment to change. A lot of times, when people have mental health issues, it's uh, they want somebody to fix them. And the reality is, is the only person that's going to fix them is the individual, and it's going to take a commitment every day. Well, I think it's important for, uh, for Canadians in positions of, uh, of responsibility to show leadership on this, to demonstrate uh, what an inclusive, uh, compassionate society looks like, but also uh, one that takes seriously its responsibilities. When we push it in Parliament, legislative, when we get the message out there, when we get it negotiated into collective bargaining agreements, when we get more training out there for employers as well as employees, when we're able to kind of build that platform where people can start seeing the change. I hope this project helps bring us to that platform.